Hi, welcome to our class of developing self-discipline course and today we are going to talk about two really important points. The first one is your intention to change your life. When you wake up, when you start your day, you have to keep this intention in your mind. And for example, you can create a kind of sign in your room, in your uh, office, and you can write it down, new life. You can write it down, discipline. You can write it, uh, what else? Um, no excuses. You can put words to you. Uh, it's, it's like a self-conversation. You are talking to yourself. You, in a motivated moment in your life, you are talking to your other part, that version, that your version, uh, that version of yours, that uh, you don't have that discipline you need in your life. You have uh, excuses, a lot of excuses to hire yourself. No, I, I, I won't do it today because I had some things. And you have to keep this connection strong with your intention to change. That's the, the key movement to start, to make this change in your life, to make this movement um, happen in your life. So, with your intention, you create a movement. That's the beginning. If you don't have this energy, this willpower, even to start your process, any, no, nothing will help you. Uh, any technique won't help you. You can do whatever uh, you want. I can tell you many tips, tools, strategies, but if you don't have your inner intention to make your dreamer believe that you can make these changes in your life, nothing will help you. So this first step is the movement that, you, that, that will make uh, you keep this energy. And then, when you have this intention, you, you have to create that connection to many items that, that will keep this intention strong this movement in a good direction. So, for example, when you wake up, you have to create connection. Connection is an important and strong word. When you wake up, you have to make a strong connection with your roadmap. You have to look at your roadmap and take uh, one important item, close your eyes, and make it happen in your mind. You have to imagine it happen in your life. Feel uh, what you will feel when it happens. See what you will see here, what you will hear when it happens. So you create the connection. You create uh, that uh, the connection with that moment. Uh, you are celebrating your your goals, when you are celebrating your achievements, when you are just telling everybody that you made it work in your life. So who is going to be the first person that you will give a huge hug when you accomplish your, your goals, your mission in your life? So. When you create that connection, it's not enough to have a roadmap. It's not enough to print your roadmap. It's not enough to put your roadmap in a visual place. You have to create the connection to that roadmap. And for example, every day I used to 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 I used to say and I say it out loud. To my wife, I tell her, 
every day I, I, I sleep a single guy can you see the size of my curves I am a <laughs> and so I, 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 I every day I tell her that I take out my ring and I sleep single as a single man yes and I wake up I put my ring back and I get married again so I can remember to take care of my my house my family my my wife and with this movement I I keep this connection strong because nothing is forever if I don't take care of my family it can be ruined I can lose my family I'm talking seriously and to make this connection to take care of my family I take out my ring and put it back in the morning so I wake up married and you, you can uh, establish many behaviors many actions many triggers to make this connection strong uh, for example to special uh, people I used to give a black belt only to special people not it's not for everybody and I'm, I'm kidding <laughs> no, I don't give to everybody but I give to, to people that uh, has achieved a high level in their lives and to remind them to make a strong a black belt achiever black belt dreamer a black belt critic and to remind them to keep to take care of that belt because uh, when I when I'm in a coaching process we have six, 60 day every day we talk uh, we just write to each other and we have a strong connection in these 60 days uh, in the end of the process uh, my goal is to reach the black belt uh, in the three inner parts dreamer achiever and critic inner parts black belt and in the end of the process most of our our coaches they used to say yeah i am a black a black belt now i am uh my achiever is a black belt my dreamer is a black belt uh, and my critic is a black belt so i can learn with my mistakes i can dream in a strong way uh, i have a strong faith nothing can make my faith weaker and i'm doing everything that i have to do that i'm supposed to do so but some months later i believe some years later they used to call me because one day my coachee always my coachee forever my coachee and we have this contact for for the rest of the life i'm talking seriously and one day one year two years later they used to say hey man I'm not a black belt anymore. Yeah, I'm a brown belt or a blue belt. And sometimes they used to say, yeah, I am a white belt because I just forgot to talk to my three inner parts. I just forgot to take care of my three inner parts. I, I'm not creating this connection to uh, my roadmap, uh, learning with my mistakes without feeling guilty. What else? Uh, get out of my comfort zone try to learn always uh, try to increase my my skills to learn new things always and make this happiness do this pleasure of uh, keep on learning every time and i talk to them and i it's really quick to come back to the black belt but you have to take care everything that you have in your life you have to take care you have to take you have to take care uh, of your health of your money of your 
motivation, dreamer, critic, uh, achiever, you have to take care because when you take care, you keep it really good in your life. But when you say, no, I'm a black belt and nothing will change it. That's the beginning of the end. So when you make this connection to your roadmap, when you make the connection, the strong connection uh, with the things that you don't want in your life, as I, as I gave the example of the anchors, the triggers, that you can just touch here your fat and remember the bad things, but you have to remember uh, the bad things in the right moment <laughs> before <laughs> doing bad things, okay? Uh, before making your mistakes, before getting out of your diet, before uh, fall in this trap of uh, laziness, procrastination and excuses. That's three enemies in your life. So you have to keep your intention clear from any obstacle and that's uh, it, that's the the beginning of the, of your day. Make it work in your life. Make it uh, you have to 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 be persistent uh, to make it work in your life until it work. So I have to do it. And everybody, I, it's really common here that I start everything, <laughs> but really soon I stop. I stop to go to the gym, I stop my diet, I stop um, many things in my life. I stop my learning process, I stop um, my professional development, I stop uh, many other things in my life that would be really interesting to me to make my dreams come true. That's why the roadmap is um, a huge source of power because your roadmap will ask you every day, hey, do you want to come here? Do you want to achieve it? Yes. What are you doing? What are you going to do today to make it work? So you have a goal, you have uh, some, some place to aim and to keep this energy strong because it's really common to lose your focus and do every, everything to survive. <laughs> I just want to survive uh, this day. I just, I just want to finish this day breathing <laughs> and to, to live tomorrow as I lived today. Just running out of my problems and try to solve them as I can. So you are always struggling and suffering to live a heavy life. You can live a lighter life with this connection, trust in yourself. So it's really important. Make a huge sign. And I would like to receive a picture of this sign. Yeah, you can take a picture with your cell phone and send us uh, by email with something that will remind you in the beginning of the day to keep this connection. New life, new life. I don't want to have a better life. I don't want to have um, more discipline. No, I want a new life with new habits. And my old habits, bad habits, I don't want it. I don't, I don't allow them in my life. They are prohibited to exist in my life. I deny access to these bad habits in my life. They are out of question. I don't want to see them in my life. Point. Period. That's it. Okay? So, uh, make this sign. Send me the picture, please. It would be really interesting uh, to understand how you make your connections, your inner connections, and how you will keep your intention strong and alive in your life. Second step, 
make the right connections with your roadmap, with your uh, actions. I mean, you can create that connection that. So you have to keep it in your mind that you are planting with the seed to collect your success later. So keep your strong intention because you have to desire it. That's the first step to change your life. Uh, desire this transformation in your life to eliminate the bad habits, create new habits that will give to you a natural and an aromatic discipline. And keep connecting yourself to your roadmap, okay? I wanted to receive your roadmap. If you uh, didn't send it to us, I would love to ask you, please send it. So, if you didn't send us your roadmap, please send it. It would be really interesting to share your dreams, your goals, and to help you even more to make it work until it works. See you tomorrow in our next class. Bye-bye.